Eight of clubs. Here he just calls. Ops to limp in with the eight seven. And Woody Moore with a jack deuce of spades. Also going to limp in. Well, he's in position on the button, so he's looking to gamble. Look at this. Quinn Doe with a pair of threes. He's called as well, so we could have a family pot. I'm all in. But no. Nam Lee says, I'm all in. He's wow. got his queen. Nam Lee putting all the whole million out there right now with the ace queen. Phil quickly going out. Woody out as well. We are around to the mighty Quinn who has a pair of threes. He could call him. Ops not to, so Nam Lee picking up a nice pot there by moving all in on him. Well, he was short stacked. It's great when you get that dead money in the pot. You figure these guys can't raise. I could probably blow them out of there. So Nam Lee picks up a pretty good pot. Closes the gap on the chip leaders. You have to admire not only the way Nam Lee plays poker, but the way he conducts himself at the final table. He's emotionless. He maintains composure at all times. Just one of the best in the business at that. <laughs> Let's go back down to the table. It's going to be on Quindo. I know he looks down at the king nine of diamonds. 350. He's yeah. going to raise it. Makes it 350,000 to go. Mm -hmm. Now I'm Lee quickly folding. Phil Ivy out. Woody with an ace five of diamonds is going to call. Woody with the ace five of diamonds. Quinn with the king nine of diamonds. I better check dark. And once again, Woody's going to check in the dark. It's very successful for him early oh, on. Oh, it's come nine five deuce. Great flop for Quindo. He's flopped top pair. Woody's flopped second pair with top kicker. And Quindo is reaching for chips. Four hundred. He's going to bet four hundred thousand. Right. And quickly, Woody goes all in over the top. I call. Quindo calls him. Now Vance, even though Woody's way behind here. I don't fault him at all for making this play. He's only an underdog of his opponent, has a big pair. You're not going to put him on a nine in this situation when the guy raised before the flop. Most of the time, he'll have queen, queen, king, jack in that spot. Ace, ten, ace, jack, ace, queen. Unfortunately for Woody, his opponent's got king, nine here. And he's going to have to catch two running diamonds to make a flush, two cards to make a straight, or an ace or a five. Had a real good feeling about it. Otherwise, Quindo is going to double up here. Can he pull out of this? Suck out and knock out Quindo. Oh. Not there. Well, it's a ten of spade. So we are down to the river card. Woody Moore must catch an ace or a five. That's all that will do it for him. Otherwise, the mighty Quinn is going to double up. Quindo's tournament life on the line. He's just got to dodge an ace or a five. And he does it as a four comes up. And what a pot this is. Over three million in this pot. And the mighty Quinn pumps his fist and sits back down with a smile on his face. Nicely done. He doubles up in a big way. Wingo got in this tournament through a thousand dollar satellite. He is running up his cash right now. Stay tuned. We're coming back for more at the LA Poker Classic. Welcome back to the Commerce Casino, where one player is about to win $1.6 million. Let's not waste any more time and get back to the action. Our current chip leader is the legendary Phil Ivey. He's sitting on over $6 million in chips. Second place, Woody Moore, who just took a big hit that last pot. Doubling up Quindo. Woody has about $3 million in chips. Quindo with $2.5 million. Nam Lee in fourth place right now with $1.4 million. And in this hand, Phil Ivey has quickly folded, and Woody Moore... 400,000. Mr. Luau with King Eight of Diamonds is going to raise. Yep, he's going to make it 400,000 to go. And look at this, Vince. The mighty yeah, Quinn man. picking up the exact same hand he had a moment ago. The last hand he just doubled up with a King Nine of Diamonds. This time he's got the King Nine of Hearts. Quinn got in this tournament through a $1,000 satellite. Didn't have to 